first book of John, chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous, meaning his commandments are not hard. And that's our job, is to keep the Lord's commandments. So we're going to start this lesson by saying, Call the law Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Shem Rekakadash. Double honors to the elect out here preaching his word in truth and sincerity. And I'm back with another Bible lesson. And uh, we're going to go into uh, keeping the Lord's commandments. We're going to jump straight into the lesson. Uh, Yahweh is who you ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shah is who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ or Kakadash is the Holy Spirit. And Baha Shem means in the name. And that's all in the ancient Paleo Hebrew language. The Lord is the so called black man from the tribe of Judah. You so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, you are the Israelites. So when you call, when you get on your knees and pray, you pray to the name of Yahweh Shah. You no longer pray to that fake ass name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is the so-called black man. The letter J was invented in 1524. So there's no way our Lord and Savior name could be Jesus Christ. It is Yahweh Shah in the ancient Paleo Hebrew language. And you so-called black, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, you are the Israelites. It's time to come back to rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord, meaning keeping his commandments. Now check this out. Quick and easy lesson. You can do it too. Type it in a, um, in a uh, search bar. Keep the commandment. We're going to keep it nice and simple. And let's see what the Bible says about keeping the Lord's commandments. Because, the you know, the preachers uh, in these little churches on Sunday say that you don't have to keep the commandments no more. Let's see what the Bible says about keeping the Lord's commandments. Exodus chapter 20, verse 6. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me. And keep my commandments. So the Lord is going to show mercy to thousands of them that love him. And how do you love the Lord? By keeping my commandments, his commandments. Leviticus chapter 22, verses 31. Therefore, you shall keep my commandments and do them. I am the Lord. Lord in all caps is Yahweh. So the Lord Yahweh says, God, who you ignorantly call God, says, keep my commandments and do them. Leviticus chapter uh, 26, verses 3. If you walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them, let's finish that. Then I will give you rain in due season and land shall yield her increase and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. So you'll get an increase on everything if, as long as you keep the Lord's commandments. Okay. Let's skip down a little bit. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 6 Therefore thou shalt keep the commandments Of the Lord thy God To walk in his ways and to fear him Look at all this All these Bible scriptures talking about the Lord Keeping the Lord's commandments But they're teaching you on churches on Sunday You don't have to Just call on the name of Jesus and do whatever the fuck you want to It don't work like that Gonna get past the book of Deuteronomy and let's see. The, the first book of Kings, chapter 3, verses 14. If thou wilt walk in my ways to keep my statutes and my commandments, as thy father David did walk, then I will lengthen thy days. So you'll get longer days on the earth as long as you rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, meaning keep his commandments to the best of your abilities. You're going to fail. You're not going to be able to keep the Lord's commandments perfectly. The only person that can do that is Yahweh Shai. That's why in the book of Judges, chapter 5, verses 11, it says we rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. So we don't go out there and perform the show because we can't perform the show. Only Yahweh Shai can. We go out here and rehearse them. means we... We try to keep these commandments to the best of our abilities. And like the uh, Bible says, it says a just man falls seven times, but get back up. So that means you're going to keep breaking the commandments. But it's your job to get your ass back up the next day and try your best not to break the commandments. Dust yourself off and try again, like Leah said. And that's what the book and this that's what this Bible is all about. It's rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord, trying your best. The Lord just wants you to try. He knows you're not going to be able to keep the commandments perfectly. He knows that because we're in the land of our captivity. So in the land of your captivity, he knows that you're not going to be able to keep his commandments. But he wants you to at least try. And, and church on Sunday tell you not to try. 
just call on the name of Jesus, which is false, because the letter J was invented in 1524, so how can his name be Jesus? So they already wrong with the name. And now they're telling you to keep the command, not to keep the commandments as well? Get out of them, get out of them fucking churches, man, before they lead you to destruction. The blind leading the blind into a ditch. Let's get some more about keeping the uh, commandments. Uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 78, verses 6. That they might set their hope in Yahweh and not forget the works of Yahweh God, but keep his commandments. The book of Psalms, chapter 103, verses 18. To such as keep his covenants and to those that remember his commandments to do them. And this is the Old Testament, and we're going to get the New Testament as well. So for you motherfuckers out there that love to say that keeping the commandments is not in the New Testament, we, we can got it in the Old and um, Old Testament and New Testament. And I can get it in Apocrypha as well if you want me to. That'll be a part two of the lesson. Proverbs verses, uh, chapter 7, verses 2. Keep my commandments and live my, and my law as the apple of thine eye. So the Lord said, keep my commandments and live. So I, I'm guessing that means if you don't keep his commandments, guess what? You're going to fucking die, right? Uh, the book of Escalations, chapter 12, verses 13. We're going to circle back to this at the end of the uh, lesson as well. Let us hear the whole conclusion of the matter. So let's sum the Bible up right here. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. So this is our job. That's what we will put on this planet. To fear God and keep his commandments. That's that's our only job. Uh, the book of John, chapter 14, verses 21. This is Yahweh Shah, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, talking. He that have my commandments and keep them, he he is that love, he is that that love me. And he that love me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him and will manifest myself into him. He's going to give you the Rakakadas, the meaning of the Holy Spirit, if you keep his commandments. The book of uh, John, chapter 15, verses 10. If you keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my law, even as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. So if Yahweh shall, who you eagerly call Jesus Christ, kept the commandments. <laughs> Then I'm guessing we're supposed to keep them, keep the commandments ourselves as well, right? And like, and like the Christians like to say, what would, what would Jesus do? He would keep the commandments of the Lord. So I guess our job is to keep the commandments, like the Bible says. Check this out: the first book of John, chapter two, verses four, and this is for the churches that teach you you don't have to keep the commandments. He that says, I know him, and keep not his commandments. It says, keep not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. So the truth is not in those churches on Sunday because they're telling you not to keep the Lord's commandments. And check this one out right here. And we can just end the, I could have just read this one and just ended the whole lesson right here. The first book of John chapter five, verses three, for this is the love of God. So he's going to tell you what the love of God is. <laughs> Stop, girl. That we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. So that is the love of God. It's keeping his commandments. And we can end the lesson with this one. Right here. Perfect. Uh, no, hold on. That's not it. I'm going to find it. Do that and crazy. But check this one out. We can end the lesson with this one. Oh, yeah, there we are. 
I know something along those lines, roughly paraphrasing in the search bar, but check this one out. We can end the lesson with this one. Revelations chapter 22, verses 14. You know, Revelations is the last book of the Bible. And you know these people telling you not to keep the Lord's commandments on Sunday, right? In the churches, they tell you not to keep the commandments. But look what the last book of the Bible says. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city. What city is that? The city of, um, is city of Jerusalem, the new Jerusalem, the kingdom of heaven. So we are, we are blessed if we do his commandments and we get to enter into that city. And those that don't keep the Lord's commandments, you're not blessed and you will not enter into the city. Plain and simple lesson. And check that out. Revelation 22 and 14. You put that two and two together. That's a four. And then that 14, 144. Call Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. We're going to end this lesson. You so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Keep the Lord's commandments to the best of your abilities. And uh, call on the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah for forgiveness of sins, peace, mercy, and blessings. And um, rehearse, like I said, rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. And if you're an able bodied man, you're supposed to be teaching his word in truth and sincerity according to the doctrine of GMS. And uh, yep, and Jesse Johnson, I would another Bible lesson keep the Lord's commandments, rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. And this is for the elect of the nation of Israel. We got next, baby.